morning, YouTube land. I am your host, TK31. Back for another video for you guys today. And right now, I'm going to be playing Injustice 2. And we're going to be talking about... Yep. Flashpoint Paradox coming at you, baby. And we are going to be playing, of course, as the Flash. And we are going to do Flash versus... The Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash. And today we're basically just going to be talking about... We're basically just going to be talking about, like, the storyline... So if you don't know what Flashpoint is, it's basically where Barry Allen, aka The Flash... basically where Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash, goes back in time to save his mother from ever being murdered, which creates an ultimate paradox, a.k.a. The Flashpoint Paradox. And, uh, and Flash doesn't even realize yet, we go into the story and we don't even realize that he doesn't even realize that his mother is even alive until he gets out of work and he realizes that his mother is actually alive, but yet he does not have his powers. Or his suit. Or even his ring that basically disposes of the suit. So, then, um... He goes into the Batcave to try to see if he can find Bruce Wayne to figure out what's going on. And he notices that the Batcave is different from what it usually was. And apparently, Bruce Wayne is Thomas Wayne, a.k.a. Bruce Wayne's father. So in Flashpoint, it changes the entire timeline. So, instead of Bruce Wayne living, Martha Wayne becomes the Joker, and Thomas Wayne becomes Batman, and Bruce Wayne dies. And so then, and also what's also going on is there's a huge war between Aquaman and Wonder Woman. So that's also going to be happening as well. And so then, Flash tries to figure out what's going on because... And... So then... Okay, hold on a second. It's hard to... Some YouTubers think this is so easy, but it isn't. So Flash, so Flash tries to get his powers back first, but also he is also losing his memory of the old time, and he basically needs to rewrite history from what it usually was. And so then he tries to recreate the accent of how he became the Flash. But, so he has to get, put all these types of, all the types of chemicals, and gets ready to get struck by lightning. So he gets ready, he gets struck by lightning, but pretty much almost all of his skin is burned off. And then, um, Thomas Wayne helps him because he's a doctor. So he, he helps him, but then uh, Barry, is like, Barry says that we need to try it again. We need a bigger bolt. And then uh, Thomas Wayne is like, well, you're crazy. He's, he's lucky to even survive. And then they end up doing it. And, there, and then there's this cord that is not attached. And then as soon as Flash gets struck by lightning, there's this huge explosion.
So there's a huge explosion that happens, and then Thomas Wayne gets thrown out of Wayne Manor and is about to be impaled, but before he does, a spark of lightning comes into the Flash's eyes, and basically he gets his speed back and, sl and saves Thomas Wayne, and he goes, huh, told ya. And so then, um, he tries to prove, um, that he is this person called the Flash. Because in this timeline, there's no such thing as the Flash. So then, all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden, he gets, he finds his ring, and it ends up being Eobard Bond, a.k.a. Reverse Flash, a.k.a. the Professor Zoom's suit. And he realizes that he pro he doesn't have very, he doesn't have memory of saving his mother of creating this alternate timeline, so he thinks that Eobard Bond, or Reverse Flash, he thinks that he basically caused all this because Reverse Flash could basically do stuff that Flash can't. And, and so they begin to discover that, um, that time travel is basically like a piece of glass. Take one piece of it and it shatters. It could shatter the ultimate, the alternate, it could shatter the time continuum, the space time continuum. And so then they get... Um, Flash tells him about Superman, the Superman of his world, the most powerful being in the universe. And then him and Cyborg and Batman go and try to see if they can find him. And so then, um, uh, they go ahead and find him in the secure facility, but... He is not at what um, Superman originally was. He is actually... He's never been introduced to the outside world, so he's, like, really skinny and limp, and he doesn't know what he is. He's basically, like, an extremely scared, lonely child. So they end up breaking him out to try to see if they can help him. He gets introduced to the sun, and that's where he gets his powers. And then these guards come, and they basically attack them. So then, they attack him, and uh, and they end up escaping. But they have these children that are also superheroes, and they think that they could just give up between the war of Wonder Woman and Aquaman, which is basically going to be like the apocalypse. So they realize that they need to stand and fight, even if, so they can change the time back to the way it was. So Flashpoint won't exist, and it's back to normal. And so then, um, they get all up into the fight, and then most people die, and some win, and then um, Reverse Flash comes, and basically explains to Barry uh, what he did, so it's not even Reverse Flash's fault, it's actually all Barry's fault. So he realizes it's, it's all his fault, it's not even... Reverse Flash had nothing to do with it. But, then uh, he was gonna have all of them die, but because break the sound barrier, there's a sonic boom, breaks the time barrier, then there's a time boom. So, basically, Reverse Flash is gonna try to see if he could destroy the universe, oh, well, destroy the timeline. And so then, um, 
um, Flash and, well, Flash is about to get killed by Reverse Flash, and then Thomas Wayne comes up and shoots Reverse Flash in the head and kills him, but not, he won't really kill him if he, like, if he restores the timeline, so then he eventually runs back in time to stop himself from ever saving his mother, and then time is reset, and everything is back to normal. And that basically concludes Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox. Watch the movie, it's a great movie, and definitely get the comic book, it's a great comic. All in all, it's one of the greatest Flash storylines of all time, as, as you know what I mean. And Flash is definitely one of my all-time favorite characters. Definitely watch the Flash CW TV series, also on Netflix. Oh, dang, boy. What did you just do? Oh, God. Dang it, I'm dead. Good God, he is hard to beat. Well, that is the end for this video today. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to become a part of the Spider Kingdom. Hasta la vista, boys and girls. Good boy.